Story Retelling Lesson for Tomas Rivera. My name is Erica Jarman, and this is my Addy project for EDT 510. What will students learn? In this lesson, students will be able to retell a story in sequential order using picture retelling cards. Students will write events of the story in sequential order using transition words. Instructional Analysis Step 1. Students read the story to Mas Rivera. Step 2. Students use retelling cards to put events of a story in order. Step 3. Students check retelling orally with a partner. Step 4. Students write the events of the story in order using transitional words. Now let's look a little closer at this lesson. What materials will I need? First, you will need a copy of the story, The Scarecrow's Hat, and chart paper for a pre-activity the students will complete before this lesson. In addition, you will need the story, Tomas Rivera, in the Storytown textbooks, a smart board, picture story retelling cards, a graphic organizer, and iPads for an after-lesson activity. How do I know they are ready? Students will already have experience with reading and retelling important parts of a story, they will also have experience with transition words and graphic organizers. In addition to prepare them, students will have read and retold the scarecrow's hat. Also, to prepare for the story Tomas Rivera, the teacher will show students an eight minute clip of After the Rain, Tomas Rivera, The Legacy and Life. This video includes a short interview with Tomas Rivera himself and his daughter reading from Tomas and the Library Lady by Pat Mora. What will the lesson look like? First, the teacher will put Tomas Rivera on the smart board and students will have their textbooks to follow along. As the teacher reads the story with the students, stopping to discuss story and summarize most important parts. Then, after completing the story, students will be paired together with story retelling cards. They will work together to put cards in order and orally retell the story of Tomas Rivera. After orally retelling the story with a partner, students will use a retelling graphic organizer to write the events of the story in order using transition words. Students will use story retelling cards to guide their writing. Here's an example of the retelling chart that students will use. What happens after the lesson? After students have completed the retelling graphic organizer, they will use iPads and the app Teledami. In this app, students can customize their own character, setting, and create their own animated video. They can record their voice by retelling the story or type it in and have the computerized voice retell it. After they have recorded their retellings, students can save and share the video for teachers and other students to listen and assess. How do I know they got it? Examples of formative assessment that the teacher will use will include popsicle sticks to randomly question selected students about events in the story during the reading. Teacher will utilize questioning such as, tell me more about that. Do you agree or disagree? Why or why not? With a partner, students use picture retelling cards to put the events of the story to Mas Rivera in order and to retell. In addition, partners will use a story retelling rubric to check students retelling. Students can make changes based on feedback from the partner. Here's an example of the story retelling rubric. It uses smiley faces, okay faces, and sad faces for students to assess the retelling. How do I know they got it? Summative assessment. Two examples of summative assessment used in this lesson will be the retelling graphic organizer using the transition words and students orally retelling the story using the app Teledami. What other activities can enhance their learning? Some follow-up activities the teacher can use, retelling a story using a graphic organizer and guided reading, students creating picture retelling cards for stories to read in class, independently or in guided reading, or students will watch the short Pixar film, Go For Broke, and retell events of the story in sequential order using a graphic organizer and student-created picture retelling cards. How do I know what I could do better next time? In order to give feedback to the educator, students will complete a lesson rubric to give feedback to teachers regarding the delivery and content of the lesson. The lesson evaluation will look like this, with a smiley, okay, or sad face again. Students can assess the teacher on their own. Thank you for listening to my story retelling lesson.